good afternoon. <clears throat> Today we're going to walk through setting up some basic storage pool tiering rules. The multiple types of storage tiering rules set up. We're going to base ours on storage pools today. Um, it's kind of a mid-level, um, <clears throat> basing it on the uh, disk type. Um, the basic steps here are um, you want to restore customer's database so that you have some arrays to play with. Um, you're going to select annotations and then edit the storage tier quality rules. And then you can delete the existing rules. Uh, part of that is there's some defaults that are based in the product. You want to get rid of those so that you can set up your own. Um, also makes for a cleaner install. Um, once you've deleted those, you're going to go into um, annotation types, and you're going to add some annotation types, <clears throat> one for SAS and fiber channel, one for SATA, and an SSD one if needed. Um, you could do one individually for SAS and one for fiber channel. I'm just grouping them together. <clears throat> and then um, once you're done with adding those tiers, you're going to actually go into the rules that are based on the tiers. And you're going to add a, um, a rule for each vendor and disk type. So I would have one for NetApp and then SAS slash fiber channel, and another one for NetApp and SATA, another one for NetApp and SSD. Um, if there's no SSD in the environment, it's not um, it's not required. So that's an as needed um, rule, and this is just to set up some basic uh, tiers so you can demonstrate functionality to the customer. Um, if the customer wanted to get into actually doing storage tiering, that's really part of a POC and really not designed for um, maybe beyond a, a POC into a, a professional services deployment. But that's really not part of an assessment or a very basic level uh, proof of concept. So I'm going to switch over to the UI for a customer database that I've restored. So here we've got a customer database. They have nine uh, arrays in the environment. Um, if you look here, you can see that some of the volumes are Tier 2. Some of the other volumes are not in a particular tier. What I have shown here is a view of the storage arrays. Let me get rid of some of these other views. because. Um, So you're looking at the storage array view. I've grouped by tier for the storage arrays. So you can see that some are in tier two and some are not in a tier. Um, and then the volumes, again, would be in a particular tier. Um, so I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go into settings, um, rules. And I believe it's storage tier quality. So I'm going to edit. Here I have to remove each of these individually. So I'm going to walk through this. And basically, these, these rules here just say, for a particular storage array, it is Tier 1, it's Tier 2, it's Tier 3. The naming of the tiers can be anything you want. Gold, silver, platinum, emerald, diamond, Tier 1, 2, 3, A, B, C. Um, the naming is really up to you. So I got rid of those. Now I want to go back into Types, choose Tier, and I'm going to Edit. So I've got a couple of rules in here. The Automated Storage tier, um, Tiering Tier, you can't get rid of. These other ones, um, you should actually be able to remove um, those tiers if you need to. I'm just going to set up one for SAS-FC. And for tier two, I'm going to edit this and say SATA. I'm going to add another one. And this is going to be SSD. Okay, here, apply that. I'm going to go back in and make sure that what I put in is actually taken. Okay. I'm not sure why not. 
setting that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back to Tier 2. Okay, and then I'm going to add one in here for SAS Robert Channel. No, oh, so it won't let me. Get out. Let's get back in here, see if this will uh, help me. Yeah, so you need to get out, apply it. I don't know if I needed necessarily to get out of the settings page, but I did anyway, so. So now we're going to go into rules and we're going to we're going to add a rule under the storage pool tier. We're going to add one. We're going to say, net, well, I should try net. Yep. And there's net up. So you have to choose a vendor here. It's going to highlight all of those. And then I'm going to choose on disk type and then choose SATA. Sorry, I have to match storage pool with this, this type SATA. Okay. And I'm going to add one for EMC. I can add in a uh, description. I can add in the description there if I want to, but uh, I'm just jumping past that. I'm going to include FATA in that SATA category. Now, EMC does not have any SSD type disk in those arrays. So for the particular customer environment, uh, I'm not going to set one up. Um, <clears throat> I could try to create one. There won't be any disks to select for EMC. So I don't believe it will actually let me add that uh, rule in for SSD disk. I don't want that underscore in there. I want to edit that, get rid of that underscore, make it a dash. I'm going to add one more. I believe the only vendor that uh, is out here with SSD is NetApp.
Now, if I come back out here, I want to look at the results of what's on this screen. I want to make sure in the result column, it actually took the entries I gave it. So I'm going to go back in and edit this. And even though I had selected all this stuff, uh, it appears that it didn't take. So, so now that's all saved. So I should be able to save OK here. Say apply. Say OK. Get out of that. Back into tier. Tier go. So you saw just a moment ago that it said Tier 2 right here, um, and now it's just been updated to say SAS, Fiber Channel, SATA, and then a bunch that are in the None category, and you can break those out and see what's out there. So it looks like there's a FSAS type disk out there on uh, something. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. And that's really it. So now when you go in to do your storage uh, breakdown, if you want to see your storage performance view, bring up my storage performance. Here is this. We, uh, a lot of times we bring up the volume performance views. Say for all of these arrays, show me the tier. And if you've done it as uh, SAS or Fiber Channel or SATA, you should be able to break this down in terms of the tier. So one of your more uh, active volumes here is, is running on SATA disk. <clears throat> Latency is not too bad. Um, top response time, not so good. This particular volume here is on SAS Fiber Channel running at 212, and the response time is 21 milliseconds. So there's something going on with that volume. So you may want to SSD accelerate that. You may want to add some capacity to that storage pool. But you can talk to the customers about the type of disk they have in their environment. And uh, of course, all this information gets populated up into the data warehouse should they um, want to run reports from that as well as that being helpful for us when we try to do our assessment reports. And really, that's the net of it. Um, that, I guess, concludes our uh, demonstration for today. Thank you.